Have you ever felt isolated by someone you care about? This might be a difficult question to answer because the journey of isolation often begins subtly, almost imperceptibly, making it challenging to identify. Let's now delve into the red flags of narcissistic isolation tactics. Firstly, gradual distancing. This is where the person you care about begins to make excuses for why you can't see your friends or family as often. They may even criticize your hobbies or interests, subtly forcing you into a corner where you feel like you have to choose between them and your loved ones. Next, negative talk. This is when they start to plant seeds of doubt about your loved ones, accusing them of being jealous or not understanding you. They may also try to convince you that your hobbies are a waste of time or harmful to you. This tactic is designed to make you second-guess the people and activities you enjoy. Then, there's controlling behavior. This tactic comes in many forms. They may dictate who you can see and talk to, monitor your phone or social media, and even try to control your finances to make it harder for you to be independent. Guilt and manipulation are also common tactics. The narcissist may use guilt to keep you isolated, making you feel like you're responsible for their happiness, or that you're neglecting them if you spend time with others. They may also manipulate you by threatening to break up or withdraw their affection if you don't do what they want. Lastly, fear and intimidation. In some cases, the narcissist may resort to fear and intimidation to keep you isolated. They may threaten to hurt you or themselves, or they may make you feel unsafe if you leave them. All these behaviors can slowly erode a person's self-confidence and independence, leaving them feeling trapped and alone. But it's crucial to remember that recognizing these tactics is the first step towards protecting yourself. You're not to blame for their behavior. Once you've recognized these isolation tactics, the next step is to set boundaries. Now, setting boundaries isn't about antagonizing or blaming the narcissist. It's about expressing your needs in a clear and respectful manner. You might say something like, I value my relationships with my family and friends and I need time for my hobbies. Notice that there's no justification or defense in that statement. You're simply stating your needs. Also, it's crucial to remember that you're not alone in this. Reach out to a trusted friend, family member or therapist and share your experiences. Sometimes, just the act of voicing your thoughts and feelings can bring clarity and relief. And remember, these supportive individuals can provide guidance and reassurance as you navigate this challenging situation. Setting boundaries can be challenging, but it's essential for protecting your well-being scene script. Finally, it's crucial to prioritize your well-being. We often forget the importance of taking care of ourselves, especially when we're in stressful situations. However, your well-being is paramount and there are ways to ensure that you're taking care of yourself. Firstly, it's essential to reconnect with your loved ones. Isolation can make us forget how meaningful these relationships are. Reach out to your family and friends even if it's just for a quick phone call or a coffee date. These interactions can be incredibly healing and can remind you of your value and worth outside of the narcissistic relationship. Next, you should rediscover your passions. During periods of isolation, you may have distanced yourself from activities you once loved. Now is the time to bring them back into your life. Whether it's reading, painting, playing music or spending time in nature, Immersing yourself in these activities can significantly boost your mood and remind you of who you are outside the confines of the narcissistic relationship. Lastly, but certainly not least, practice self-care. This involves more than just bubble baths and face masks, although those can be part of it too. Self-care means ensuring you're getting enough sleep, eating healthy foods and exercising regularly. Physical well-being can have a significant impact on emotional well-being, so it's essential to take care of both. Remind yourself that it's okay to take time for yourself, it's okay to prioritize your needs and wants, it's okay to put your well-being first. You are not being selfish, you are simply taking care of yourself. This journey may be challenging and you might feel alone at times. But remember, many people have walked this path before you. There are resources available to help guide you through this difficult time and you don't have to face this alone. It may be hard to believe right now, 
But you can reclaim your life from the grips of a narcissist. You can rediscover your passions, reconnect with loved ones, and prioritize your well-being. You are stronger than you know, and you are capable of overcoming this. Remember, you are not alone. Many people have experienced the pain of isolation from a narcissist. There are resources available to help you, and you can get through this.